Hi guys! So in this video I thought it would be quite a cool idea to do a kind of battle of the drugstore nail varnishes. I just thought it would be a good idea to kind of like show you guys some of the drugstore nail varnishes that I have and some of the cheaper nail varnishes that I have as opposed to the high-end ones. Tell you guys what I think of them and which ones are the best and which ones I think you should buy and which have the best formula and all that kind of stuff. And I don't have every single brand of drugstore nail varnish. I'm only going to talk about the ones that I've really kind of like tried and tested and used. So yeah, I've felt like I would ignore the ones that I don't really use as often because I can't give like a full review on them and I will talk about the ones which I use on a regular basis. So the first brand that I actually want to talk about is Poundland. I'm pretty sure Poundland only started doing nail varnishes recently. They started doing like makeup more recently. They're called Makeup Gallery Time to Shine Quick Dry Nail Colour and they only have two glitters from this collection so I can't really review the other kind of like block colours. But I do really like these two glitter nail polishes. I have this, and um, this silver glitter is called Silver Treasure, and the gold glitter is called Precious Gold. So yeah, I do actually really like these nail varnishes. I mean, for a pound, and from Poundland, I wasn't really expecting much from them. But I use this glitter one quite often. It's quite a sheer glitter top coat. You can't really build up to like full opacity with this silver glitter. It's more of a top coat, but I do use it all the time to put over like other colours of nail varnish, and I do really like it. Yeah, the only thing is, it's quite sparse. You don't get that many pieces of glitter actually on your nails. The gold one has more glitter in it, so it's more opaque. And yeah, I do really like this as a gold glitter. I think it's nice. Um, and I think from Poundland, for only a pound, these are actually pretty decent and I'd like to try some of the other actual block colours. I would give these like a 3 out of 5. So next I want to talk about Primark nail varnishes. Um, by the way I'm building up from the cheapest to the most expensive. So Primark nail varnishes, I have quite a few of them. This is just a selection of four that I'm showing you. So I've got a bright orange one, a baby blue one which is probably my favourite, a nude one which I also really like and then a glitter. So as for these, I do like the colour kind of pigment, they're quite opaque. I normally use about two coats of these, or maybe three depending on uh, which ones you use because some of them are more opaque than others, but I do actually like the nail polish itself, which is why I buy them all the time. Also they're only a pound so they're really cheap. But the thing I don't like about these, which really annoys me, is they have a really big wide brush, which is quite like... I don't know, it seems quite big and square and clumsy, so when you're actually applying it, it's quite difficult to apply them nicely. I always find that I get them on my skin, around my nails, and I always have to clean up around them afterwards. But the one thing that I really don't like about Primark nail varnishes um, is the packaging. These two nail varnishes, the orange one and this silver glitter, I can't actually use anymore because I can't get them open and basically I'll show you what happens they have this uh, square lid and this bit pulls off and then they have this other like lid but what often happens with these is they get glued shut somehow I, I seriously don't know what it is I don't like stall them upside down or anything um, and I don't tie them particularly tightly after a while they just seem to glue shut and I can't open with anything and when I try to open them it just breaks the plastic because I'm not sure if you can see inside here it has kind of little uh, bits of plastic that keep this that like fit into the ridges of this and that enable you to turn it but when they get glued shut and you try to open them they just snap and so then you seriously cannot open it and I tried like using my teeth I've tried using a bit of plastic try getting my dad to do it and literally no one can open them without breaking it so then it just turns around like this and you just can never get the lid off again and this is what I think Primark seriously need to work on with their packaging because it, it's just it's just crazy I do actually like the formula of the nail varnishes for a pound I think that's quite good but because of the packaging I'm gonna have to give them a 2 out of 5 if you kind of are careful with them they can be good the next I'm moving on to MUA and I have a few of these as well uh, these are just a few of the shades that I have because I wasn't going to show you all of them. I have a purple, a grey and a blue. And I really do like these. Again, they're only a pound. I would definitely prefer them to the Primark ones. These brushes are a lot smaller. Um, and they're a nice formula. They go on opaquely. Um, with the exception of a couple shades. A couple of them are a bit less opaque than others. 
but the majority of them are really nice and I do like them a lot. The only thing is about these is they're quite small, which I do actually quite like because it means it takes up less space in my collection. And I'll probably give them a 3 out of 5. So next is Makeup Revolution and I got these in my haul that I did a couple of videos back. And yeah, I really do like these. I think one of them was reduced to 50p and the other one was a pound. And I have the shades Lovely Lilac and True Blue. And I have True Blue on my nails at the moment. It is this colour here. And I used this for the first time yesterday and I was so impressed. It's so opaque. It applied really nicely. The brush is a nice size. Um, it was really shiny and it looked really nice on my nails and I just think it's it's amazing really like for what I paid for it, it was only a pound and then before this video I did try this purple one as well and again it is really opaque it applies really nicely and yeah I was super impressed with these um, it could just be these two that are really good I don't know I haven't tried the whole collection but so far I'm really impressed with these Makeup Revolution nail launches I would give these a 4 out of 5 okay so next I want to talk about Sinful Colours which is a brand that you can buy in some boot stores I think and you can get them online um, and these are only $1.99 which again is a really good price and I really love these nail varnishes they make my favourite silver glitter which is this one and it is the colour Queen of Beauty and I absolutely love this silver glitter I use it all the time people always ask me where it's from and it's this Sinful Colours one um, again these are a couple of the shades that I have that I just thought I'd mention this one is called Vacation Time and this red is called Ruby Red and I have actually seen some of these in Poundland I think I actually got these two in Poundland um, so you might be able to get them in certain Poundland stores, I don't know. They have quite a small brush, um, they're quite easy to apply, kind of build up in two coats, three coats maximum. This silver one especially is definitely my favourite because it's a super opaque silver glitter and you can build this up in like two or three coats as well. You get quite a big bottle of them, they have a huge colour selection, so yeah I would give these a 4 out of 5. Next is the brand 17, which again you get in boots, and these are the colour carnival nail varnishes. I just have these two here which are deep red sparkle and black um, and I use the black one for nail art and I use this red one around Christmas it's a really pretty red with red glitter in it they apply nicely and they're opaque and I just think they're really nice they have quite a big colour selection the one thing that I don't like about them is um, I don't know if it's just the black actually because I use it so often but I found that it did go gloopy quite click, quick click quite quickly. Yeah, I'd probably give these like a 3.5 out of 5 because I do prefer these simple colours ones. Pretty cheap and if you're in a boot store I would kind of pick one of these up and try it out and see what you think. So next I want to talk about some of my favourite makeup brands, uh, makeup brands, nail polish brands out there and this is Barry M. I absolutely love all the Barry M nail varnishes. Um, I have a huge collection of them. I have some of the regular ones which I bought a few years ago. This one is the ever famous Peach Melba, well it was really famous like a few years ago on YouTube. Um, I then have some of my favourite nail polishes of all time are the Barry M Jelly ones and then I also have quite a few of their glitter top coats which again I really 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 like. The jelly ones are my favourite though which is what I'm going to talk about. The standard Barry M polishes are 2 99 I think and these jelly ones are 3 99 and they are just so beautiful, they have such a nice colour range. They're really thick and opaque and they dry to the most beautiful, shiny, gel-like formula. And yeah, I just think these are such good drugstore nail varnishes. I highly, highly recommend Barry M. So yeah, I'd probably give these a 4.5 out of 5. Finally, on the higher scale of the cheapish nail varnishes is Model Zone. And again, this is one of my absolute all-time favourite nail polish brands. Um, these are just two shades that I have here, but I have many more in my nail polish collection. Um, these are £5, which is slightly more expensive, but they often have offers on their website and stuff. Um, so if you kind of like follow them on Instagram, you might be able to kind of pick up on those offers and get good deals, which is what I normally do. But these come in so many absolutely gorgeous colours. They have so many different collections coming out all the time, like for example this one which is called, yeah it's called Apple Pies from the Scratch and Sniff Scented Collection and it does actually smell like apples. I have a banana one as well but I hate the smell of bananas but it's a beautiful yellow colour. And then this one is from the Polish for Tans collection, Oh, whoops, this one is from last year's Polish for Tans collection and I use this all the time as well. Again, they have such nice formulation, they go on really well, they apply really smoothly, they're really opaque and they build up in two coats. I just can't really say anything bad about these again. 
you get a really big bottle of them. Yeah, I'd say again, I'd probably give these a four and a half out of five. So that is all that I have to talk about. Like I said, I don't really, I haven't really tried kind of like Maybelline and Rimmel and other brands of nail varnish enough to kind of review them. So I just talked about the ones that I use on a most on a more like regular basis so I hope this kind of helps some of you guys if you're deciding what nail varnishes to buy and if you did like this video please give it a thumbs up uh, please follow me on Instagram which is just at sofdoesnails and it will be linked down below because that's where I post all of my nail art including the nails that I have at the moment please subscribe if you would like to that would be really really awesome yeah let me know what your favourite brands of drugstore nail varnish are down below and I will see you guys in my next video Bye! So this is my makeup bag right here and yeah I know it looks a bit silly with this 